Good evening, Samurai. Welcome to the stream, welcome to the channel, welcome to the Vortex. My name is Ezio and I will be your guide this evening as we launch more venture into the Outer Worlds. No recap for this afternoon's stream. This afternoon's stream was cancelled because I had real world stuff that I needed to do. Well, I say real world, life stuff. Life stuff's always fun, but alas, it meant that there was no stream this afternoon, so we're technically four hours behind in our run of the Outer Worlds. Oh, what a shame. But it's fine because we get to play it a little bit longer. So, yes, if memory serves, last time we ended up encountering a dead mascot, stole his clothes, then we ventured into a museum, found the central control computer thing for the entire structure that we're on, then the centrifuge was screwy, so we found the captain, who was completely useless, killed a bunch of rabid uh, dog things, contaminated with shrimp, fixed the centrifuge, fixed the computer, and then met Dr. Goodnight, who was amazing, and we got an autopsy report, and now we're continuing our investigation, so huzzah! So there we go, that is everyone caught up, I think, maybe, possibly, who knows? Hey, just raise that. So, with that said and done, come join me as we once more step foot into the vortex as we continue to travel and traverse the world, the realm of the Outer Worlds murder on Eridanos. Our destination lays before us, the controls are set. So let's go. Shall we? Oh. Yes, I know it's the Epic Store. Yes, I don't like it either. But it was the only way I could play this game on launch. So, eh. Oh. Alright, let us continue our voyage, our murder investigation. And I've probably just put the microphone in shut and I can't tell yet because the computer is just a black screen. Um, Come on. Load! Do the thing! Woo! There we go. Uh, no I didn't. No I did. No I didn't. No I did. No I didn't. There we go. That'll do. Alright, continue. I've not got any green screen leaking or anything, have I? No? Okay, that's fine. That's fantastic. Where are we? We're in the hotel. What are we doing? I can't remember. Journal. Um, the man who shaved a uh, price of a toss ball. Find Bertie at the spaceport. Track down the profit of profitability. Let's try the price of a toss ball because I want to get to Bertie and I want this vodka. I wish to use the Gatling vodka gun. The, not words I ever thought I'd ever say in my life, but you know what? I'm going to roll with it. <laughs> Look at that Happy Spaces Choice employee. He isn't contaminated with shrimp, surely. Hold on, where's my charge? Oh, Lost my bloody charger now. Um, oh, it'll do. That'll survive. Right, anyway, let's see now. And Paul. So Bertie is... By an intercom? Quack. Oh yeah, we've not been to the VIP. Hold on. Hold on, important things need to be done. You want to be my friend? No! You go kablooey! Ow. 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 Am I a VIP? I don't know, Just Riser. I don't know. <laughs> right, uh... Oh, there's the intercom. Why am I going to the intercom? All oh, right, thingy. Could be a VIP badge, or it could be mark of an assassination. You're dead, I'm afraid. Inspector, good to see you. Let me just grant you access and welcome to the Piraeus spaceport. Two questions occur there. One, it's that easy. Two. These things can show video. Three. I don't have a third point, so we're just going to continue. Right, okay then. Uh, contact Cedric. Player. Nothing happened. <laughs> Thanks, game. Just okay. Man, these bridges are long. Awesome, but long. What do you think of it? The amount of sort of synchronization. Oh, I thought that was a UFO then. The amount of synchronization between these islands is 
spectacular when you think about it, because all it takes for one engine to go a tiny bit faster and all of this bridge rips away. Hey, Spud Solutions, welcome. Also, quick question. If this is the spaceport, why is my ship parked over there and not in the spaceport? See, we're asking the tough questions here. Fast travel unlocked. Fantastic. What's over here? <laughs> yeah. Secrets? Things? Stuff that we can't access because we don't have enough lockpicking skill? Could be all of these or none of these. But we did get a sword, so that's all right. Hmm. There might be something down there. How do we get down there? We can't get down there. Well, we could try jumping. We can jump. That's as far as we get. Okay, so what secrets does Black Hole Bertie have to hide? Death of a nature. Yes. Old turpinside bread. Mmm, delicious. Oh. Oh, the game really didn't like that corner. Uh, hey, you. We've been looking for you. And by we, I mean slug. Been real busy sniffing around Eridanos for clues, haven't you, Inspector? See, Sluglight Underground don't like that much. Sluglight? That's a new one. Should have kept your nose where it belonged, Inspector. <laughs> Slug's sick of all your meddling in their affairs. Our affairs, I mean. We're... Draw, you damn breadworm! Draw! Right, I'm gonna leave this true bastion of brilliance and genius just for a minute. Um, oh, I was just about to say thanks. But now there's this guy with a knife breaking into the house and I have to get rid of him first. Those assassins never learn. <laughs> Indeed, they don't just raise up. Just be kind to them. They are young and foolish. Good solutions. Ellie's quips are the best. Yes, they are. I do like Ellie's quips. Right, um... Okay, I don't think this man will understand what the word farce means. So... I'm tempted. <laughs> or, I love when people threaten me. Now I'm acting in self-defense! Now we'll go with, I'm an inspector, fella. Sticking my nose in his birth of the stick that nose anywhere ever again. Okay, hold on. You're saying Slug asked me to investigate and now it wants me dead. Or medical. Uh, dilated pupils, rapid breathing. You're high. Hard to turn the adrenal... <laughs> had to turn to adrenal for courage, huh? Um, yeah, we're going to go with our medical skill there. Dilated pupils, rapid breathing. You're high. Had to turn to adrenal for courage, huh? What? No, my head feels great. And once I don't have six tongues, I'll tell you what I think of your slander. Now stop moving around so much. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, I am high on adrenal time. Maybe this was all a bad idea. Yes, it was. Hey, any chance we could reschedule? Yeah, maybe do this whole showdown business. Uh, never. I'll pencil you in for the sixth of never. Um, or maybe your chance change of heart had come early. Um, no. Sure, if you tell me exactly who it is, I'm never rescheduling with. Someone paid us to say we were slug and intimidate you. I don't know who. I swear it. They only ever sent notes. Okay. That's everything I know. Honest. We were only gonna rough you up a little. You gotta believe me. And we're real sorry. Get out of here. I uh, don't need to tell us twice. Uh, come on, all. Let's get the hell out of here. All? Oh, right. There they are. <laughs> that's, that's where all of them are. Run, Morris, run. Okay. Um... But for real, thanks, I feel loud. Nah, it's all right, Just Razor. You've been in this community for a long time at this point. Well, I consider it a long time. So, yeah, no, by all means. I'm, so I'm sorry I didn't give you a v I didn't give you that badge sooner, to be honest. Memory serves. You were here during the during the Kingdom Hearts 3 days. Though I could be mistaken on that. Ooh, shit. Um, I'm doing something. I was oh yeah, I'm supposed to go in there. Um let's go every word that isn't the I don't know what to make of sublight underground. Or slug, I guess. I can't shake the feeling they had something to do with Ms. Helen's death. 
I mean, the Halcyon colonies, Pavati, it, it, it's entirely possible. It wouldn't surprise me if Rizzo's were the ones who murdered her. You. You got an appointment? No! Hello! I wish to talk to the manager. Appointment? Manager! Hello, I need to speak with Cedric. Or <laughs> Alternatively, no. Then get. <clears throat> no. Look, I'm an investigator. I need to speak with Cedric. No appointment? No talking to Mr. Kincannon. Not very friendly, are you? They don't pay me to be friendly. They pay me to keep hooligans out of Mr. Kincannon's hair. Come on. Do I really look like a hooligan? I'd say so. That said, it's possible Mr. Kincannon might enjoy talking to someone as personable as yourself. We'll see what he says. Mr. Kincannon, got a person of interest here to see you. I think they've got business. That sounds like our inspector. Please, send him up. Ha <laughs> ha! I win! No, not worth it. <laughs> Yet. Woo! Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Who's willing to bet that there's a missing gun? A cursory fingerprint analysis shows this display case was recently opened or closed. Okay. That gun on the bottom looks special. Has it been customized? for a specific wielder, most likely the rifle's owner. Additionally, the plasma rifle sights appear to have been realigned to better accommodate a shooter with slight myopia in one eye. Analyze the fingerprints further. The fingerprints belong to Cedric Kincannon. As I expected. Not that someone could have had a, uh, access the cabinet using gloves, you consider, but the simplest solution is often done the right run. Oh, admiring my rifle. Had it custom fitted by a woman on Monarch. Interesting. Hello. Why, if it isn't the inspector, I was hoping you'd swing by. Here for my alibi, I assume. Yeah, it has been a while enjoying my time here. That's all I ask. Well, no, I don't. Well, I. I don't ask anyone. I don't put a gun to anyone's head and say, you will enjoy your time here. At least, not yet. Well, if you enjoy it, then by all means. I, I much appreciate your enjoyment. I mean, why would I stream otherwise if it wasn't to entertain people? Um, Or to at least have some company as I slowly descend into the worlds of madness. Oh, well, I'm already there. I continue my descent into the worlds of madness. Um, Here for my alibi, I assume. Later, first I want an explanation for that nonsense outside. Another murder? Drunk raptidons? Black hole birdie practicing his hacking in the middle of the street? Uh, stop me if it's one of those, or I'll just keep guessing. I had, in <laughs> I had a run in with some slug agents. Sounds as though you've already sorted it out yourself. How did bugs get their hands on slug gear? Slug uniforms do seem to go missing from the hotel laundry with impressive regularity. Easy enough for someone to nick a few. Now ask yourself this. Why would anyone give thugs slug gear and send them after you? Uh, let's see. What shall we take? Somebody out there is trying to smear your good name. Well, to smear my name, anyway. But I can't fathom who would benefit from tarnishing my reputation like that. Can you? Um, the world of madness sounds like an interesting place. Better than the boring place most people call reality. Indeed. Very much so. Okay, and I love it because not only do we have the insanity of the outer worlds, but our next destination is oh so beautifully insane and I cannot wait. Oh, I cannot wait. Um, I 
Turn over the left way. Oh wait, yeah, of course. I'm in good company here. Um, right. Da, 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 da. So what were we saying? What's he saying? Do, 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 do. Gosh, could it possibly be the administrator? How dumb do you think I am? Um, da, 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 da. I ask the questions here. No, uh, presumably Ludicardo. More than anyone, given your work relationship. You said it, not me. So, as you've deduced, I did not send anyone from Slug after you, nor is it likely they assigned themselves that task. Still, I am sorry for the trouble, Inspector. With that settled, I assume you'll want to know where I was the night of Helen's murder. And what did you eat for dessert? Um... Hey, Kuin of Hell. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Um... Damn right I do. Okay. Let's hear it. Let's see. That night, I was... Ah. Torturing Elliot Nasser for information on missing cargo. That was a messy one. Didn't break until nearly noon the next day. Can you imagine? Wait, 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 wait. You literally just stood up and said, Yeah, no, I was mur I was torturing someone for information. Yeah, that, that's, that's my alibi. Ask, ask the person I was torturing. Ask Elliot. He, he'll vouch for me. Okay. Thank you, terrifying man. Um, <clears throat> I'm not sure who's worse now, him or the shrimp woman. And where would I find Elliot Nasa to verify that? Alternatively... That's your alibi. Seriously? I could invent a better alibi than tortured a man to death if you'd like. Perhaps something salacious. Or one where I break contract bylaws. <laughs> Lou would adore that. You'd be a fool to believe me, regardless of what I told you. People lie. And I am. Incriminatingly. People. What a shock. Um... So your alibi is that you were busy murdering someone else. <laughs> Alternatively, I'm trying to clear you of murder here. Right, so you're right. Yeah, your alibi is that you were murdering someone else. Okay. Which, as I said, you should not trust. If it helps, however, you might consider pursuing not my means, but my motive. Why in the name of the architect would I kill Halcyon Helen? She was making me a fortune. Got a point. Don's death is a net loss for Slug. Uh, I'm not sure yet. <laughs> but you'd make a killing selling tickets to the funeral. No, that doesn't make sense because it, she'd earn more over the period of her life than just the one shot of her funeral. So, I'm gonna, yeah, I'll go with. So, Helen's death is a net loss for Slug. I'm considering a line of commemorative merchandise. Still, that's nothing compared to what Helen would have made us in the long run. I'd offer to assist you in your work, but I have a mystery of my own to solve, I'm afraid. Well, at least he likes his job. Well, yeah, I suppose we can go with that. It's just, yeah, you've got to love the ice-swiveling madman who likes to murder people on the side. Um, well, killing won't mean more, just a lot. I completely forgot about the commemorative merchandise, and then they could start releasing special re-releases of her movies. Okay, maybe her death could be big business. I still want to know who stole her needler, though. Um, also, I want to know if I can get my hands on the needler. Come on. They're bound to give me that as a weapon. Surely, surely I get the fancy needle revolver thing. As well as a vodka gallanting gun. Gatling gun. Gatling gun. Not gallanting. That's something else. I think. Anyway, <laughs> it gallantly goes murdering people, much like Cedric Coon Cannon. Um, da, 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 da. I take it the guy you tortured wasn't the source of your missing cargo then? Oh, Elliot stole from me all right. Alas, you're right in that his was a singular isolated incident, and as such does not resolve a concerning broader trend. Items are disappearing from slug storage and processing warehouse. The thefts began a week before Helen's unfortunate death, and there have been more instances since. <laughs> before you ask, I know the difference between cargo going missing and cargo going missing. This is the latter. Uh, 
Okay. What's the connection to Helen connection to Helen's murder? I'm not sure. I'm only confident there is one. That the theft began mere days before Helen's untimely demise is an extraordinary coincidence. I'm not a man who believes in happenstance, Inspector. I do not trust it. Hey, oh, oh, sorry, I apologize. I'm sorry, I'm going to absolutely butcher your name now. I, I apologize in many, many, many ways. Uh, Garacho, Garacho Man. I, I think it's Garacho Man. I apologize again. Uh, yeah, Garacho Man. Right, well, first, welcome. Hello. Uh, Ezio, I'm watching your Cyberpunk 2077 on YouTube. You said blimey in the first episode, so I'm watching the whole play <laughs> playlist with joy. <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. <laughs> Thank you very much, Garrett Joe man. Welcome. Thank you and welcome and enjoy. I absolutely loved that playthrough. That was one of the best playthroughs I've done on this channel with Cyberpunk 2077. <laughs> Good enough. Look, just ask Just Razor. I've been saying his name wrong for years at this point. But aye. Well, I'm glad you could stop by. and I'm glad to see somebody's enjoying the YouTube archive. Oh. <laughs> Right, uh, I've, uh, oh yes, I'm playing a game, right, okay, that's a thing I'm doing. Right, I'm guessing I can't guarantee that theft isn't related to murder. Okay, really dumb looks done for more for me. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm not a man who believes in happenstance, Inspector. I do not trust it. I don't know what that means, but it's clearly a fool's errand arguing with you. No, actually, I'm kind of, I'm sort of tempted what all the dumb options are. If there's going to be a dumb option for this conversation, it will be here. And that is something you can do, by the way. You can literally make your character with, like, no intelligence, and you just get some glorious, glorious dialogue. Including the ability to fly a starship into the sun, which is also a pleasant time. For everyone apart from the people on the ship. Um, da 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 da, da. Okay, I... Really? Oh, what the hell? Oh! Apparently it's decided I want to use my controller now. No! I don't think so, game. Um, yeah. I guess I can't guarantee that theft isn't related to murder. I certainly wouldn't take that bet. Regardless, this will be fun. You out in the field, chasing down leads. Me, scheming in my office, oh. preparing to unspeakably mangle the perpetrator. <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry, I also just realised. Uh, Garrett Showman, thank you very much for the follow and welcome to our little band of travellers, Samurai. I didn't realise, I only just noticed it did, you followed me 12 hours ago, so that's... I was wondering if I'd missed something, but oh well. Uh, yeah, thank you for the follow, very much appreciated. Um, Okay. So, I feel like I should say no to a violent crime lord. What am I saying no to? I should have probably paid attention. Um, I last all of 10 seconds in the in Halcyon, wouldn't I? Regardless of this, you are on the field chasing leads down, me scheming in my office preparing to unspeakably mangle the perpetrator. Just no unspeakable mangling in front of me, please. Um... I like to commit my own horrific bodily harm. Thank you. I'll say this once. Whoever's behind this is going to jail. Not to you. You do recall, Inspector, that I'm not to be trusted? But certainly, whatever you say. You'll want to speak with Ella Tinsley, the warehouse foreman. I've cleared her as a suspect myself, but should she refuse to cooperate, shoot her. No, I'm joking. If she won't cooperate, tell me and I will shoot her. <laughs> and do feel free to search my office for clues while you're here. Don't hold back on my account. Before I get started. Was there something else you wanted to discuss? I love that. No, I'm just joking. Tell me and I'll shoot her. It's, uh, it's not actually a bad idea.
No, I can't shoot chat. I like you lot too much. Anyway, right. I have some questions about Helen. Very well. <clears throat> Did you have many dealings with Helen? A few. Helen was strangely curious about the private business operations around Eridanos. She said it was role research. But how much business know-how does one actor truly need for an action picture? I also arranged to have Helen supplied with magpics, bypass shunts, and other hacking tools. She wanted to buy in bulk. Why did you help her? Gee, did the murderous crime lord not look into the profit of it? That didn't strike you as suspicious. That she bought in bulk? Not particularly. It takes time to learn to use tools like that deftly. I wonder... Did she run out of time in the end? Maybe. If you didn't kill her, any idea who would want her dead? That is the question, isn't it, Inspector? Tell me, do you really believe Helen's death was a mere crime of passion? Or one of petty career jealousy? Hmm? Uh, well, clearly you don't. This murder is bigger than Miss Helen's personal life. Bigger than her latest moving picture. Which makes me think that a corporation's probably involved in it. There you go. You think she had a powerful enemy. Indeed. I suspect Helen arrived on Eridanos with grander plans than promoting Spectrum Brown. I knew I was right about you being clever, Inspector. I'm glad. Because whoever did kill Helen is not going to come forward so easily. Okay. You know more than you're telling me. Of course he bloody does. <laughs> I might. I just might. Your point, Inspector? That the... Okay, that's a thing that just happened again. Um... I've already made it. Yes, I suppose you have. Be very careful, Inspector. I'd very much like to see you still around for the grand finale. Whenever it comes, whatever shape it takes. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is now a book. <laughs> okay, so... Da, 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 four. One moment, if you please, Inspector. I've answered your questions. I believe it's my turn to ask you a question now. What, or who, made you decide to investigate me? Hmm. You're one of Eridanos' major players. It only makes sense. Understandable. A man of my standing would naturally be tied up in all this, whether he wishes to be or not. Now then, did you need anything else? I don't know, four cases of Spectrum Brown so I can burn the evil shrimp? No? Okay, fine. Um, why does Ludica... Uh, Lu why does Lou hate you so much anyway? The original incident? Well, I made him an offer he should have refused. Oh. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Did you put a severed raptodon head in his bed? What? No. Law, <laughs> no. Why in the architect's name would you think that? Our combative relationship stems from paperwork, mundanely enough. Rizzo's contracted sublight to construct the Eridanos atmospheric complex. Had Lou wanted Rizzo's to retain full control of Eridanos, he shouldn't have skimmed the revised contract I sent him. Lou's an administrator, for law's sake. I thought he would adore all the fine print I added. Yes, that does strike me as particularly... peculiar. That's the word I'm looking for. I mean, in this you in this world, everyone gets off with all the fine print and all the legal ease and nonsense and stuff. You'd think that a man of his power would, or his background, would actually look at the fine print. That's interesting. Now, even the man's an idiot, which he entirely very well could be, or there's something else going on here. Uh, oh, who am I kidding? It's a murder investigation. It's a whodunit. Of course there's something else going on here. At this point, I expect it to be, I don't know, the murdered mascot in the ballroom with a lead pipe. Oh, wait a minute. It was a ballroom. Um, <laughs> She fell into the pool and 
bell fruit. Oh, never mind. I give up on that one. Right, let's just continue. Um, so you tricked him. How fine a... The bloody hell? What? Oh, okay. How fine a print are we talking here? Still technically visible to the human eye, but only just. You're quite good at this. It was all perfectly legal, too, which irked Lou to no end. Oh. My power grab, as Lou called it, planted the seed of hatred. And Lou, obsessed with what should have been, has made sure to water it daily with his bitterness and anger. Okay, I stand corrected. No, that was a very clever move on their part. Um, da -da 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 -da. Okay. I'm sure all the sniping you do at each other helps. Oh, I'm not an innocent party here. <clears throat> Please don't think I'm claiming to be. Provoking Lou may be fun, but I do have my reasons. Slug's control of Eridanos is a crucial step in my long-term plans for Sublight. The board needs to see irrefutable proof we are a respectable, legitimate business. Fair enough. Um, do, 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 do. Why do you care so much what the board thinks? Oh, actually, here's this part where you... <laughs> Is this the part where you cackle and reveal your evil grand plan? <laughs> oh, that does sound fun, though. Is securing a board seat for Sublight evil enough? Surely we can at least agree that it's grand. Meanwhile, our dear administrator is still laser focused on old slice, which can be a nuisance. He's grown increasingly desperate to catch slug with our hand in the proverbial cookie jar as of late, convinced we're involved in less than legal business opportunities. Okay. Murder had better be one of these opportunities. Uh, no, hold on. But you admitted to me earlier that you tortured a man for information. Not in front of witnesses, I didn't. Uh, uh, I, uh, you... Okay. Okay. I'll, I'll give you that. Okay. Uh, excuse me. Fair off. Hey, Blue! Welcome! Welcome, welcome. Why me chat's busy this evening? Right, um... No, wait. I'll keep it down. You're not paying attention. It works! Wait, what works? Who works? What? Who? Where? Why? Yay! We stole something. Oh, didn't do anything. Um. Oh, the TP links. R really? You ordered them? What? How? Who? What? Where? Oh, found something. Okay, I'm curious how, they're at, how they work then. Well, wait, have you tested them? Wait, did you order them? Wait, that was quick. <laughs> this copy of TK contains 142 fewer pages than a standard copy. The missing pages were likely removed to create sufficient space for the hidden listening device inside. Cool. Right, so you... Okay, well, that's a surprise. Honestly, to be honest, maybe the technology's come a long way, but I thought a ring main wouldn't allow it for doing that unless the ring main's balked or something. Um. Oh, well, you know what? If they work... They work. So, bizarre. Did you manage to test the speed on it? See what's doing. Do an internet speed check. Make sure that you're getting the full bandwidth. To be fair, you're from the dino era. <laughs> no. No. A, a bit. A bit. I'm only about 2,000 years old at this point. It's not that old. I think. Hmm. Anyway, enough of that. We have engineering to do. We're, we are smart people here. You think they bought it? No? Oh. The, the TP links he bought over were 10 plus years old, so they ain't up to scratch. Smart people were. Yes! I mean, yes, we're all there. Chat. Chat is the smart people. I'm not. I'm, I'm an idiot who runs around complaining about shrimp all the time. No, you ch you people in chat, you are the most beautiful and brilliant people of them all. Um, EP, okay, for 10 plus years old. Maybe I'm talking nonsense then. Or maybe it's something else to do. Um, wait, that engineering statement's redundant. Pardon? What? Engineering 70. 
Short range transmission capabilities, the receiver must be somewhere nearby. No, it's not so much. No, wait, uh... No, 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 the, the, the receiver will be in the room who of the person whoever's listening in. Not the transceiver, if that's what you mean. But alternatively, we're still gonna do it. You figured that out just by looking at it? Huh. We had to talk shop one of these days. Yes! Inspector, please consider speaking into the device in order to trace the transmission and reveal the receiver's location. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking to the device. Ooh. Poor woolly cow impression transmitted. Transmission analysis complete. <laughs> While the precise location of the receiver could not be pinpointed, it has been narrowed down to a smaller, approximate range. How long has this been here? Analysis inconclusive. However, there is a minor accumulation of dust particles present on the book's uppermost surface. Oh. Wait, what? <laughs> it doesn't work like that, Blue. But I will say, Hail, mighty we are Blue. For she, chosen by the great vampiric masters and the great techno-necromancers, has summoned and released the lock of Alpha Centauri! Oh, it's been a while since I've had to say, I've been able to say that. I paid more for Wife of the Moment. Yep. Yeah. Hey, you, you bugger, they're okay. Two of you have decided to do waifu of the moment then. Alternatively, Palomino has swooped in to save you, Blue, and has requested waifu of the moment. And of course, get f. Yeah, thanks, Blue. Get fluffed. Get fund. We'll get fund. Yes, marvellous. Waifu of the moment, chat. Chat is the waifu of the moment. Anyway. Right, examine the surrounding area, examine the dust, taste the dust. Taste... <laughs> I want my points back if you want to... I don't know how to answer the question. I don't know how to redeem points, but if you want, then the Palomino, wife of the moment, chat. Blue, wife of the moment, chat. Chat is always the wife of the moment. Yes. <laughs> okay, we have three options. We examine the area, we examine the dust, or we taste the dust. Anyone care to guess what we're doing first? Nope, we're tasting the dust. Bugger. <laughs> it tastes slightly dusty. Well, not dusty enough. This listening device was planned. <laughs> really? Hmm, it tastes slightly dusty, but not dusty enough. This listening device was planted recently. There's no way you could know that. Additional analysis concludes. Your hypothesis is correct, Inspector. I'd say I'm impressed, but I really don't <laughs> want to encourage you. <laughs> In fairness, Ellie, I have so far tasted a footprint, tasted a strange smudge on a control on a work console, and now tasted a book. So you know, <laughs> just this is how it happens. Conclude examination. What's that you found? Uh, no, wait, don't tell me. Let's save it for the big reveal once you've solved the case. Cool. Um, uh, oh, good lord. What? Ezio, you want to refund my points? I have a better idea. Read this one out. What the hell am I reading? <laughs> Calling to all who know one's wolf Basuba D Ba 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 Badiba Du Ba Bu Ba 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 Do 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 Go follow We Are Blue on Twitch Blah 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 Etsy was the greatest Shrimps are evil Alpha Centauri There we go close enough yes. <laughs> Okay well that works Right what were we doing we were talking to oh yeah there's the crime lord and the thing and we're doing stuff That's a thing. What's in here? Bathroom. Okay. Why does somebody have a level head? No. We're not stealing from Sublight. We won't steal from the angry crime boss because we'll probably find ourselves with cement shoes and being thrown off the edge of the planet. Um. 